Good morning, Roosevelt Park Schools. Good morning, Robert Gordon. Good morning, Aldine. And good morning, Sherman Schools. It's Coach Lowe here bringing to you another soccer lesson. Our right, today's lesson is going to be on the soccer throwing. Anytime a ball goes out of bounds, out of the sidelines, one of the teams who did not kick it out um, has to throw it in. Um, Some of the equipment you might need, uh, any type of ball. All right, we can use the ball that we made the other day. Okay. Now, if you're inside, as I am right now, use something soft. All right. And you don't have to throw it hard because if we're inside, you want to make sure you're safe and, and nothing gets broken. And you're in a good place that you can do exercise. So, you know, if I was inside, I'd just try to use like, something soft. Like this is a beach ball. Okay. This one's not going to hurt anything. All right. Also, uh, this week we're going to make some targets. And uh, we're going to be using a milk jug and water bottle as a target. Um, first things first, when you're coming onto the field to go do a throw in, right, here's the side, and I'm going to pretend like this black line goes all the way across. Okay? When you do a throw in, you're allowed to step on the line. Okay? That's okay. If you step before the line, that's okay. But what you can't do is step over the line. Once you step over the line, it's a foul throw. All right? Another thing that you want to make sure that we do is we drag that back foot. All right? So, soccer throw in, drag that back foot. Alright, if you, if you throw it in like, like this, and you lift that back foot, it's going to be a foul throw. Now, we're not professionals here, but a lot of you do play soccer, so I expect the ones that do play soccer will really try to do it the correct way. Um, if you're not really a soccer player, that's okay as well. What I want you to really focus on is not stepping over the line, okay? And then get those two hands above your head and shoot it over, just, just like so. Back over your head and in front. Alright, without stepping over the line. So that's your main objective. Alright, so work on that soccer throw-in. Alright. Don't step over the line. Two hands over your head. Alright, and we're aiming at a target. Alright, the target here, the first one here, is basically hitting somebody in the chest and we'll play it down to their feet. The other one um, has some water bottles. That's more like throwing right through their feet. Um, if you don't have water bottles or, or a milk jug, you can use a, a hula hoop or a jump rope. And just try to throw it right inside the hula hoop or the jump rope. Alright, we'll do three practice for three throws. Want you to watch, alright? Here's my beach ball throw. I have one hand on each side of the ball like so. Alright, bring the ball back and lay my head. Step. Alright, I hit the target, but I didn't knock off the water jump, which is fine, but you hit the target. That's the main objective too, is to hit that target. So we got pretty good aim on that. Alright, next one. I'll use a indoor soccer ball. Alright, I'm gonna go for the uh hula hoop with the water bottle. That's okay, it's close, and that's what's important. This is practice. Okay? Alright, last one. Uh, soccer throw. So do your soccer throw. This is something you can do by yourself or you can do with a partner. Challenge yourself. I'm inside and I did a video, so it was a little tough for me to do a little farther and challenge myself a little bit more. So I uh, encourage you to challenge yourself. Make it hard. Right, the better, the harder you make it, the better you're gonna get. Okay? Alright. I hope you have fun with this one around the Rosa Park Schools. Coach Lowe signing off.